Hey everybody, it's Lacey Lux here, hopping on here today to bring you yet another review. I hope that wherever you guys are, that you guys are happy and healthy and blessed. Um, <laughs> I am super excited to bring this review because as we all know, we are in fall. Well, at least most of you probably are. It's still hot here in Florida. Unfortunately, I admire you. All who get to see the changing of the leaves and get to smell the dried leaves on the ground. I, I admire that. I miss it so much. Um, but... Nonetheless, I still scored some fall bags, and this is one I'm really excited about. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the bag that I got was, dun -dun -dun -dun! <laughs> this is the Vavin PM, and I got this from one of my all-time favorite sellers. Um, she's consistently um, reliable, consistent. Um, I, I'm always impressed with her quality, um, and yeah, I just absolutely adore her, and that is Ginger. Um, the Vavin does come in a variety of sizes. It comes in a BB, which I've had before, in the Omprot from Mr. Wang, but it was a little too small for me, so I had to rehome, um, but it also comes in the PM, which is this size, and an MM. Um, also, it comes in uh, the Damier Ben canvas with various different uh, panels here for the front pocket and different leathers, including exotic like snakeskin. Um, and it also comes in emprunt leather in various colors. Um, there's just really a ton of options um, in terms of choice uh, with the Vavin. And for good reason. This bag is absolutely beautiful. Um, so without babbling more, let me zoom in and let me show you some of the details. Okay, so as you can see, this is a flat bag. On the top flap, um, you see it has these little um, uh, little leather pieces here on the sides, um, which are the black calfskin leather. And then you have your uh, Louis Vuitton stamped rivets, and those are done beautifully. Um, all of the alignment is consistent with the authentic. Um, the color of the canvas, um, it's not pulling any purple. And when it's out in sunlight, it does uh, it does show, you know, some warmth coming through in the uh, lighter squares here. Um, the font of the logo looks very nice. Um, and the feel of this bag, it, this is really, really soft, you guys. Like, it is a pliable, pliable, pliable um, canvas. It reminds me of the authentic... Uh, Pochette Matisse's um, in terms of the uh, pliability and the softness of the flap. Okay. Um, another thing that I really love about this bag is you have this uh, gorgeous golden uh, buckle. Um, so, so beautiful. It's, it you know, it's just it's, it's a nod to the historic Louis Vuitton trunks, which I'm, I'm a, I'm a history buff and I love, you know, I'm very nostalgic. So this is something that I really, really appreciate. Guys, ignore my fingers. I have company coming. I have guests coming to stay with us for 10 days and I was nervous and ripped all my nails off. I know it's terrible, but so try to ignore my hideous hands. Um, but it does have the stamped LV. It's not engraved. It is stamped, which is in accordance to the authentic. Um, it has the calfskin leather tab up here on the top, um, similar to your uh, Pichette Matisse and also your Crossettes. Um, I really, really love that feature. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, here on the uh, pocket here, um, you have this gorgeous cream-colored um, pebbled leather, and then you have the Louis Vuitton Paris uh, font right here on the front, and it is completely centered. Um, really, really impressed by that. Really pleased with it. Overall, I mean, guys, I'm over the moon for this bag. All right, so when you open up this buckle, and it is like a you know, sort of faux buckle because it is magnetic. Listen to that magnet, guys. When you open up the buckle, let me show you the underside. I still have the cover, the protective covering here. Um, it does have the proper screws in accordance to the authentic. Um, and then on the underside of the uh, magnet, you have, and this also is covered, guys, but you have the, the golden hardware and it's also um, stamped Louis Vuitton Paris. Very, very beautiful. Um, you open this up and it is lined um, on the pocket side with the uh, the microfiber or micro suede liner. And then, of course, you have the body of the bag, which is the Damier Aben canvas. Um, when you get into this bag, and it opens up large, guys, this is a pretty decent sized bag. Um, but when you get into it, you are greeted with the uh, black um, microfiber uh, interior. Um, you have your Louis Vuitton Paris Made in France badge here, and then you have a back pocket, which unzips, and it also houses your date code. 
um, sorry, here's your little care booklet that you get. Um, but the pocket does go down to the bottom and it's a nice, uh, spacious size as well. So, and I love this pocket here. I mean, that's exactly where I would keep my phone. Um, it's just a really, really nice bag. Guys, the canvas is so, so soft. So reminiscent of the authentic Pochette Matisse in terms of the, the pliability. If anybody has felt an authentic Pochette Matisse, it has a very pliable flap. Um, and this is that way too. It's not stiff. It's not hard. There's not a lot of structure. I mean, this is a very, very soft, soft canvas. Um, when you look to the side here, I want you guys to take a look at the alignment. The alignment here is done beautifully. Um, I love how this, the side, you know, how it folds into itself and it's got this like uh, pleating. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I, I love that. I love the look of it. Let me show you guys the other side. And again, the alignment is just perfection. It is absolute perfection. Um, so beautiful. The bag also does have black glazing along uh, the flap of the bag. I want you guys to see the bottom. Look again, look at the alignment. You have a really pretty cocoa colored uh, stitching. Again, alignment is just, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, now, let's get on to the chain. So I know a lot of people aren't crazy about chains and I honestly haven't been either in the past because I found oh, there's been bags I've gotten where the chain was sticky. This chain is not sticky. Um, it, it moves so smoothly through the, well, I said that and then it got stuck, but it moves so smoothly um, through the, um, the grommets, which by the way, I forgot to show you guys the grommets. The grommets are a beautiful gold color. And again, the golden hardware on this is a really, really nice color. And they are stamped Louis Vuitton and they are going in the right direction. So, um, so it does say Louis on top, Vuitton on the bottom, and that's on all four grommets. Um, so again, close attention to detail. Um, this is a very, very high quality bag. It's very, very nice. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, let me show you. So it does have these leather um, shoulder, uh, shoulder pads, is what I like to call them, or shoulder straps. Um, they are both stamped uh, Louis Vuitton Paris. That's actually upside down. Louis Vuitton Paris. And the stamping on it is done very well. They're even on both sides. They're nice and deep and crisp. Uh, stitching is done beautifully. And again, this is a really soft, pliable um, calf leather. Um, absolutely love it. These are the under, here's the underside. Even the underside is done beautifully, like the stitching and everything. It's just very, very clean. Um, so in terms of how you can wear this bag, um, obviously it, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, as you can see, which it, it sits really nicely on me. I like when I'm standing up, it hits like right above my hip and I'm five foot two. So I'm a shorty, guys. Um, now, and then you can also wear it cross body and you can either, you know, have the Louis Vuitton strap here in the front or you can do it this way and have it in the back. Um, but let me just show you guys. So it hits me, um, it hits me right at the hip. Um, I, like I said, I'm, on, I'm a little bit on the shorter side and I actually like my, um, I actually prefer my cross bodies to be a little bit higher. Um, so it still works. It's still cute. I do like it also long on the shoulder. You guys can see. Um, but either way, I mean, I love, I love this bag and I love, I love the wear, how it wears.